Okay, here's another example of king and pawn versus king ending. In this example, white is the weaker side, and black has an extra pawn, and black is trying to march the pawn to the promotion square and promote to a queen before white can get there and capture the pawn. Now, as you can see, black is pretty far away from its uh, pawn. Black's king is far away from its pawn, and so the race is on. So white goes first, and so white moves into the square of the pawn. So as you can see, the square of the pawn runs from h5 to d5 to d1. So that's the square of the pawn. So as soon as black moved to h5, white was able to enter its square. And therefore, as we discussed in the previous video, black will not able will not be able to promote its pawn bef in time. Um, let's see, let's play it out, and you can see how black's pawn will get captured. Um, wh black continues to march down the pawn, white retreats along the diagonal, and black continues, and as you can see, as soon as black promotes, white captures the queen. Now, um, I want you to note two things. Um, one is that another way of visualizing the square of the pawn concept is, I mean, I, I'm truly comfortable thinking about it as the square of the pawn, but for other, for some people are, are not so comfortable with that. And so you can think of it also as this diagonal here. Just visualize a diagonal from this pawn until the back rank. And then draw a line, a file, um, across that uh, across that diagonal. So here, white must cross this file right here because this is the file that um, crosses with this diagonal. So this is another way of looking at it. Uh, and the other thing that I wanted you to note is that white is retreating along this diagonal. Very, very important. Why is this important? You'll see in later examples. If black can somehow block, obstruct this diagonal from white, then white will not be able to capture the pawn in time. Because it's very, very important that white should have this diagonal clear so that it can capture the pawn. If, for example, let's just hypothetically, if there's something on this square right now, right now, when black moves to h2, then white cannot capture. White can move here, okay? White can move here, but that's not going to help black, I mean, that's not going to help white to capture black's um, pawn. And so this square is critical. White must be able to go through this diagonal. And it's not just this square. Every single square here is critical in this square of the pawn concept. If any of these diagonal squares are obstructed, then white will have to take a detour and that wastes time. And in the meantime, black's pawn will promote.